वेलकम वेलकम टू फॉर पे डॉट ऑर्ग दिस इज कंज्यूमर्स डॉक्टर बंगाला ए नॉन प्रॉफिट कंपनी फोकसिंग ऑन हेल्थ केयर एक्सेस टू ऑल अमेरिकन्स टूडेज टॉपिक I you know this is a common topic folks I keep hearing why bother buying a health insurance I keep hearing over and over why bother why waste my money in buying a health insurance this is uh this is how we have this 27 million Americans they can afford it but they don't want to pay for it this is a common occurrence i want to address that folks the the mystique behind it because all of all americans know if you go to the hospital they'll take care they'll take care of you no matter what because by law by law hospitals have to take care of you if something emergency arises but they don't understand the consequences of not having health insurance for whatever the god god forbid whatever the reason you end up in the hospital you have no insurance and uh, and you're taken care of but finally it'll get to you folks it'll get to you when the by the time you get discharged you will have a big bill and you're stuck with it and most of the time folks think ah you know why bother even paying uh you know that's come back to haunt you let me give a better scenario how about making or paying into the paying for the health care and getting your money's worth back money's back you know your money will come back to you 10 times over how how can you do that how can you put money aside and put and and it'll get back you the whatever the money you you spend it'll you, it'll get it back yes there are ways folks let me talk about that suppose you buy a even if you have health deductible health insurance even if you don't want to pay for the deductible health insurance why getting a health insurance i understand that logic that's fine but still you can contribute to your health savings accounts only thing is you cannot deduct it from taxes if you want to have a deduction if you are independent you are employed you are making money your income is over 50 over 50000 if you want to get a deduction yes you need to have a deductible policy if you don't want to buy a health insurance you can still put money into the health savings i'll tell you you they say it it it's a big uh there's a benefit in putting money aside into the health savings i'll tell you how so once you contribute health savings i was saying 10 dollars a day Twenty dollars for family, ten dollars for the individual, twenty dollars for the family, which comes to three hundred dollars for the individual, and six hundred dollars for the family. At the year end, you will have thirty-six hundred dollars and seventy-two hundred dollars for your family. How does it benefit by putting money into the health savings? Yes. that money you're putting is basically is a savings account in the health savings account the contributions you know if it's deductible uh, if you can deduct it from taxes if you don't have buy a health insurance you can't deduct it but if you buy a deductible health insurance you can perfectly deduct from your income and um, if your income is around under 50000 you can deduct it almost all of it so in any case once you contribute into your health savings i was telling you by year end you will have 3600 dollars for the individual 
$7,200 for the family. Okay, that is being deposited into a brokerage account. There is, There are a lot of banks, HSA banks, they let you, HSA bank, you know, personally, I, I myself transferred all my assets from the Optum Bank to HSA Bank. The reason why I did that, I wanted my money to be in the brokerage. So they let you participate in the Ameritrade or Fidelity, whatever you, uh, the brokerage account you have. I think the Ameritrade works with the HSA Bank. So that $7,600 for the family, you're, you're divested into the index funds and uh, index funds in general, if you buy a Vanguard index, S&P index, QQQ index, you will get 10, 15, 20% folks. There's without any question, without any question. And it sits there and you, it is like a saving account. It's like an IRA. It's better than IRA. Let me tell you, it's better than IRA. The reason why I say that, that money you have in the HSA gives you a freedom in healthcare. Why do you say that? Why can you give freedom? Yes. If in 10 years, you're, you know, a lot of people have the same reason. Oh, I'm healthy. I don't need to see any doctor. I don't need, I don't need health insurance. Fine. But at the end of 10 years, you're talking about 80 to 100,000 in, in that savings account, which appreciates over a period of, you know, next to whatever it is, uh, if you, whenever you want to retire, that money comes in handy, folks, for your health. Not only is it for your health, it, it, you can keep on accumulating, it'll last for your lifetime. You may not, you don't have to use it if you don't need to, but that gives you an added advantage for you. The reason why I say that, for whatever the reason, you want to buy some medicines, if you want to see a doctor, and you don't have, again, you don't have insurance, right? Then you can use that account. They have a debit card. You can use that account, pay as you go. When you pay for the care through cash, it's a 70% discount, 60 to 70% discount, folks. I'm not kidding. So you pay your debit card. I said, I'm paying cash. So whatever it is, you can use that. The money you spent on that care, it's not taxable. It's not taxable. And appreciation what you got over a period of 10, 15, 20 years, it's not taxable. They can't put a tax on it because it's coming from your HSA account. And HSA account can, is flexible enough for you to take care of yourself, whatever the healthcare, you know, whenever, whenever you need to use it. So that goes a long way, folks. So HSA, without a deductible health insurance, you can still participate. Only thing, the contributions are not deductible. You understand what I, I'm, I'm making it sure you understand. Even if you don't have health, deductible health insurance, you can still contribute. And the contribution what you make are not deductible, but the withdrawals and appreciation is deductible. Once you have an HSA account set up. So folks, I want, every one of you to set up. It's like an IRA. I'm sure everybody, every one of you have an IRA. Even when you're doing an IRA, do a Roth IRA. I'm not sure how many people understand within a SEP IRA and a Roth IRA. Roth IRA is after taxes. So once you, once you contribute to the Roth IRA, then you don't have to pay taxes during the withdrawals. Same thing with HSA. You don't have to pay any taxes when you withdraw for the healthcare reasons. Yes, Roth IRA is the same. So I hope I made it clear, folks. A lot of folks can afford buy health insurance, 
but they want they don't want to be bothered because they are young and healthy i can understand all the you know this is where we have an issue we most of the folks when they don't want to buy health insurance because they they think it's too expensive and it's it's waste of money and i can't afford it you know they they gives you several reasons not to buy health insurance that's why we have so many uninsured you know one of the things is going to come up is how people with no insurance there is a way they can the federal federal government can say okay if you are not you don't have with the obama care they are mandating everybody should have health insurance if that's what happens people who don't buy health insurance what will happen you have no exemptions when you file your taxes that's another thing you need to look into that because if you don't buy health insurance you might lose your exemptions deductions you know automobile deductions expenses all those exemptions will be taken away so just watch out folks and uh, that's a good thing to have health savings accounts no matter what anybody it's hsa is almost like having a roth ira roth ira and hsa is if you don't have health insurance is after taxes you are paying after tax so that's okay so you can buy roth ira you can buy an hsa folks thank you for listening and i hope i've given you a an advice which is worth the thing to talk about you know everybody when you say about health insurance they it's too confusing nobody and they know it's expensive and healthcare in general is very expensive but there comes a point people have to realize there are ways to get around and paying up front will lower the cost of the care yes thank you guys for listening we will see you in the next episode of forpay.org this is consumers dr bengal goodbye and god bless